You are listening to CBC Radio 1, 89.3 FM, 990 on your AM radio dial. Well, let's talk smartphones, shall we? If you're using your smartphone only for email or phone calls or Facebook, you're underutilizing it. Ben Williams of the Winnipeg Film Group says that you can use your phone to do a whole lot more. How does making movies on your phone sound? Quite credible movies. Ben is offering a workshop this afternoon at the Millennium Library on doing just that, and another workshop at the Winnipeg Film Group later in September, and Ben is here now. Hello there. Greetings. Now, you've brought in a phone with a lot of stuff kind of uh, decked out on it, what convinces you that we can make movies on our smartphones? Well, there have been a few movies that have been made uh, using their smartphones and a few award winners, actually. So, um, And I've done it myself. I've been doing it for a handful of years, so you know it's pretty great. So w what do we need uh, to, to start planning to make a movie on our phone? What do, what do we have to do first? Well, first you want to... You know, it's, it's about telling a story. So if you're telling a story, you need to basically... Um, figure out visually what you're trying to capture. Uh, it's usually good to have a storyboard or a, story, uh, a written, some kind of written format of what you're going to be doing for your phone. So you're talking here mainly about uh, focusing on the story rather than on the technology, but there's some technology that we have to take into account on this too, right? What, uh, what aspects of that do we have to look after? Well, when you're, use, you're using your phone, there's basic things like, you know, you need to use some, you need to... First of all, you need to turn on airplane mode. Put it on airplane mode. Yeah, airplane, Why? airplane mode is great because uh, it turns off all your signals. So, like your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, um, anything that's going to send out a signal, it's going to drain your battery. Okay. Those are the things. That's what's going to happen. It's going to turn all that off um, because you want to save as much battery um, as you possibly can when you're shooting. But it will still shoot everything you want, except that it, you know, in airplane mode, it helps you to conserve the, the battery? Right, right. It helps you to conserve the battery, and it stops, uh, prevents calls from coming in. Yeah. Um, so you don't want to have a call in the middle of a phone, like when you're shooting. It's like, oh, no, what's happening, you know? So uh, you what, what kind of smartphone do we need to be able to do this? Well, there's multiple, there's different types of smartphones. A lot of people are using their iPhones, but, you know, you can use Nokia's, you can use uh, Windows smartphones. Phone, you can use like I've, I have a Android. Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, that should be fine. So, the, so most phones these days are capable of doing that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, think about when you're shooting or taking photographs. It's like painting with light, you know. So okay. basically, if you have enough light, you can capture the footage. Yeah, you should be able. I mean, the quality is good enough nowadays. How much can we shoot before the phone's memory fills up? Well, it depends. I mean, everybody's phone. I mean, I have 16 gigabytes, and it depends on you know, like. You can shoot at different frame rates, you know, or uh, frame size. Um, mm, uh, speed, qu right? qual No, quality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, like, you know, I have a 50 megabit a second, which is huge, but, like, that's what, like, a lot of uh, news, uh, what they're doing, like, on TV nowadays and stuff. So, um, But you can shoot at a, short, a, a smaller frame size, and that would give you, uh, okay. allow you to capture more footage. How do we get what we've shot out of the phone? Um, actually, you can edit and shoot on your phone, but um, the best thing to do is, just like anything, when you plug your phone into your computer, you can you know download the files and then you can edit the files. You said we can edit on the phone? You can. How? What, what, what's it take to be able to do that? Well, there's apps out there, but um, basically you can... Do, the way of the art of editing basically is, is getting the cut and, and basically splicing and putting pieces together or doing some kind of transition to, to shorten and tell your story. So. Um, there are apps out there, um, like on my iPhone I would use something like iMovie if I was using it on my phone, but I, I'm, the class that I'm teaching today, which is very basic, is going to be talking about using it on the computer. Okay. So. Now, um, what are the best ways to hold and move the camera so that your viewers don't get seasick? <laughs> That's interesting. One of the big things, uh, when it comes to using your phone, um, is stabilization. A lot of people, they take out their phones, and they'll hold them, like, arm's length out, and they'll kind of, like, their arm is shaky, you know, there's no stability there. So one of the things I try to teach people, the first off, is stability. So bring it close to your chest, hold it with both hands. That is the first state, uh, stage of, of getting your phone to get more stable. The other thing um, that I, I do is I teach them to get some kind of rig or some kind of setup, like a like a B-Script Pro, like, that what's, I have. What's that? 
Um, basically, it's a rig system that allows you to insert your phone, um, and it allows you to, uh, you know, attach lens adapters or monopods or, or uh, right. tripods. Right, you've got yours sitting on the table here, and Correct. it's got this, what, what did you call the thing, beast grip? Beast grip. Beast grip. <laughs> and it's about the size, you know, it makes the, 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 the phone about the size of a large paperback. Yeah. Right, so you, you can hold it very firmly with both ends. Exactly. You've also got it sitting on a little tripod. That attaches to the camera as well. Exactly. So the, the tripod screws into the base of the, the B-script, okay. which allows me the stabilization, and then I can put my monopod, which I always use, and that's the other thing, monopod, monopod. I always believe in, like, if you're shooting video, nowadays with a small camera or, or camera phone or, like, a, an SLR or something, okay. uh, I advise always having a monopod. Uh, they're very lightweight, and they're mobile, and basically it's just one leg as opposed to three legs on a tripod. Oh, I see. So you can stand it on the ground or exactly. shorten it, stand it on a table or whatever, but it, that, it keeps it stable? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, okay. there's, there's, a, there's a stability. It gives you, and, and you can get some really cool effects and, and things that way as well. But, yeah, stability is important, and you can do a lot of, great things with the, with the monopod. It's always advisable to have one. You were talking about apps that can be useful for making movies on your phone. Which ones do you recommend? Ooh, um, there are some that are free, right? Yeah, there's, there's, there's some that are free, but there's... I um, can't remember the one that's on my phone that I have. Uh, uh, I'll have to come back, back to that one. Yeah, but we were talking yesterday about Premiere. That's yeah. Oh, oh you're talking, that's not on the phone. But no. yeah, if it, as far as editing goes... Yes. Um, on the desktop, on yeah. the desktop, the, you would use something like Premiere, okay. um, which is like fourteen dollars a month, uh, and basically you would use that. That that's a that will work on a Mac and a PC. Okay. And uh, there's another one called uh, what is it called? Haha. <laughs> As you scroll through your iPod. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> WeVideo.com, um, which is a free app. Uh, basically. Um, this is the app that I advise people to use that are just getting into it and aren't really committed, just kind of just okay. learning. Um, it's a free app that they can upload about up to about five gigs of gigabytes of okay. hard drive. Um, so can I download phones. that onto my smartphone? Is, is, uh, that it is not. It is basically you, you, you would use that on the, in, the, in the cloud on a computer. Okay. Um, I've never tried to do it on the phone. You probably could. Okay. And that's interesting. You got me thinking. Now, you're you're a, a movie maker yourself. What? How does the quality of smartphone footage compare to what you might get on a more expensive movie camera? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I have a three thousand dollar camera, like it's a a one. Well, it's not three thousand anymore, but when I purchased it, it was. Um, and a lot of reality TV shows were using them. Um, and I know a lot of news people were using them. And the interesting thing is, like my a one U that I have is basically only shoots like seven twenty. Uh, the frame size yes. and mine, my iPhone shoots 1020, 10, um, 1080. Uh, so it's 1920 by 1080, which is HD. That is full screen HD. You and can shoot HD on your phone. You can shoot HD on your phone. It's amazing. <laughs> it's shocking. It's I don't know. <laughs> and 24 frames a second, which is actually the frame um, the frame rate of uh, film. Um, yeah. So you can shoot that. You know, so. Some fil some filmmakers have actually used uh, their smartphones to shoot some footage in some films that that we 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 all might have seen, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. There may be some films that we've seen. You were talking about Robert Rodriguez using uh, yeah, a smartphone, he, right? Robert Rodriguez has used a smartphone. Um, there's a movie called Olive that was done in 2011, um, and it was a but on a budget of like five hundred thousand dollars, and they got it out, and um, it's the world's first feature film of cinematic quality to be shot using a smartphone. Um, and there was a movie called Night Fishing, um, that was also, like, that was done in 2011 as well. It's like, that, that seemed like the year that pe people yeah. were kind of doing this. Now, you're offering a deeper course, uh, later this fall on smartphone movie making. Uh, when and how can we sign up for that? Ah, so it should be in September. I have not, um, we, we haven't set the date, but it'll be sometime in mid to late September. And this is through the Winnipeg Film Group? Yeah, and it'll be more, it'll be more, um, detailed, uh, details on, on editing um, and more hands-on, and hmm. uh, so it'll be a little bit more uh, involved in what wow. I'm giving here. Well, thanks for the, our little introduction today to this, and for those who are interested, they can look more deeply by getting in touch with you at the film group, right? That's right. Winnipeg okay, Ben, thanks a million. Thank you. That's Ben Williams. He's a production center director of the Winnipeg Film Group, and you can follow the Winnipeg Film Group on Twitter. That's at Winnipeg Film. You can follow Ben at at Bendrix, B-E-N-D-R-I-X.